Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Twin Flame Tarot reading. My name is Brittany. I'm a coach here with New World All Star, and we are going to see what's going on with Divine Feminine. All right, all my Divine Feminine friends, I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine Collective. All right, everyone. Well, if you have found this channel, the chances are very good that you have met your twin flame. All right. So let's get into it. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. And all right. So what's this twin flame stuff about? All right. Well, I'm sure that you guys have looked all over the internet for twin flame information, right? You, you met this person, you had this really, really painful experience, this breakup, and then all of a sudden twin flame information comes into your awareness somehow. And so you start scouring the internet for information. Totally normal, not a problem. All right. So a lot of that information, however, is fairly inaccurate. And I don't think it's that, like I always say, I don't think anyone's trying to be inaccurate. I just think they're looking at it from the wrong perspective. And that's okay. So that's why we're here and we're going to talk about it. So the one thing, however, that everyone in the so-called twin flame community can agree on, however, is what a twin flame is. And everyone can kind of agree that a twin flame is one soul in two bodies, okay? So how does that happen? Well, reincarnation. The soul, it incarnates, it deincarnates, it reincarnates many, many, many times, thousands upon thousands of times. And your twin flame is just a simultaneous incarnation of you happening now. That's all that it is. You know, the mind wants to say that it's something different because the mind likes stories. The mind likes to make up stories and create identities and all that stuff and then have you think that you are that and you're not. <laughs> you're not your mind. Now, meeting your twin flame, there are a couple things that do tend to happen, however. And there is this polarization that occurs at the level of mind when you meet your simultaneous incarnation, your twin flame, and it's not the content of the mind, it's energy. And that's why they run. That's why they want to be anywhere that you are not. And it's just, it's this energetic polarization that occurs, right? And then that typically kicks off what everyone calls the dark night of the soul, right? But that's also referred to in traditional Zen spiritualism as ego death. I mean, either one of those terms is pretty dramatic. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty dramatic experience. It's very painful. And is it that the mind or the egoic mind dies? No, it's that the mind, the identity, all of that is found to be illusory. You are not your mind. You are not the identity that your mind has created. And your mind wants to create identities out of literally anything. Your mind, guarantee it, some of you watching, I love you guys so much, but I guarantee that some of you watching, your mind wants to create an identity out of being a twin flame. Like, oh, I'm a twin flame, and so that's my identity now. And because I'm a twin flame, I have to do all these things, I have to say all these things, I have to hit all these milestones, I have to do all these phases. And on and on and on. And none of that is real. That's just the story of the mind. Everything is just happening now. Everything is just happening now. And, you know, so your twin flame is a simultaneous incarnation of you happening now. Time is an illusion. Time is an illusion. Everything is just happening now. And your twin flame is an incarnation of you happening now in this plane of existence. That's all that it is. That's all that it is. And meeting them happens for one reason and one reason only, and that is to awaken you to the truth 
of your nature, that you are consciousness. We all are three-part beings. We have a body. We have a mind. We are the soul. Consciousness. The watcher. The witness. The noticer of it all. And, you know, I think a lot of times, you guys, most people in the world don't realize how absolutely beautiful and powerful that is. Because literally... Where your awareness goes, it grows. You guys have all heard that. And that's going to make a lot more sense to you the farther you go, what that actually means. So that is why we meet our twin flame. It's to awaken to consciousness. So once we awaken, and each and every one of you guys here, you are awakening, you are here. You are here and you are now. Their job is done. Now, to the mind, that sounds terrible. Like, oh my gosh, I'm, their job is done? Oh my gosh, no, they have to have a job in order for us to be in union. Really now, do they? This journey is about you. It has always been about you. And here's the paradox. Well, here's the thing. They are you. You are them. It's not that they're the same as you. It's that they are you. You and your twin flame literally our union. You are that. You are that. And when you realize that on an inner level, which is beyond concept, and you let go of the physical manifestation that is your twin flame, that's when they tend to come back and want to be around you all the time, calling, texting, wanting to be around you. They won't leave you alone. All right, guys. Listen, I want you guys to take the deep dive into this. Go over to the True Twin Flame Teachings playlist on this channel, on New World All Star, on YouTube. Check it out. Kurt has put up so much free content for you guys. It's going to make so much sense. And it's free. It's free. No cost. So stop watching tarot readings. Go check out the True Twin Flame Teachings playlist. Um, on this channel, New World All Star on YouTube. Check it out. All right, guys, for Divine Feminine at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. You know what? I love it. Taking a break, taking a rest, Divine Feminine. Rest is key. It is so important. It is so necessary. I'm so glad for you that you are taking some time to just, just chill, just chill out, you know? All right. Now, in the recent past for you, Divine Feminine, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So in the recent past, kind of feeling like you don't have a lot of confidence. And here's the thing. That is all very temporary. And that is the mind. And in order to transcend these limiting patterns of mind, you have to first notice them. And sometimes the noticing is also going to present you with attachment. And that attachment can be uncomfortable that's okay. It's okay. Don't bypass any of your emotional experiences. Just notice them and remember that you are not them, but that they are there. And it's okay that they are. All right. Now in the recent past for you, divine feminine in your 3d life situation, so-called karmic situation. Okay. This, this is cool. I see where that that's yeah. I see, I see where this is going. All right, the five in the recent past, the five of swords and the devil reversed. So there has been some disharmony in the past in your 3D life situation, maybe some disagreements, some misunderstandings, and you're really starting to notice some resentment maybe. And with that devil reversed coming up, you are really facing some of these more shadowy, darker patterns within the mind. And maybe some, some destructive patterns within the mind, maybe destructive in general, self-destructive, but you are noticing them. And that's perfect because in order to transcend these patterns and remember that you are not them and discern what serves you and what does not, they have to be noticed. So that's perfect. You know, the farther you go, the more that you can see how absolutely everything in the unfolding of your path is perfect. Even the parts that are uncomfortable, even the parts that are painful are perfect and necessary. And everything is happening 
exactly as it is meant to for your highest good. I promise. I promise you guys. All right. Now, in the recent past, towards your twin flame, we have the two of swords reversed and the empress or the empress. If I could talk, that would be so fantastic. All right. So feeling kind of lost, divine feminine. And, you know, the mind is attached to an outcome when it comes to your twin flame in the recent past. And the mind, the mind sees this spiritual awakening as, okay, so if I do my spiritual awakening, my twin flame will come back. But that's not how it works. That's not how it works. They are not the goal. They cannot be the goal. Making them the goal is pushing them away. That's going to become more clear and it's okay. You Once again, you have to notice these things in order to transcend. No problem. No problem. Okay. And with that Empress coming up, you kind of already know that. You kind of already know everything is working out perfectly for you and you know it. It's not, it's not from the standpoint of the mind though. It's a knowing, it's deeper, it's beyond concept, it's the soul, it's consciousness. All right, so now currently for you, Divine Feminine, we have the Six of Wands reversed. So, right, you're kind of experiencing some obstacles, but with that Six of Wands reversed coming up, I'm really wondering, are you experiencing obstacles or, or, hang with me on this one. Is the mind perceiving everything as an obstacle? I don't know. Reflect on it. Reflect on it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you, what you think of that, right? Are there actually obstacles or are you perceiving obstacles, right? And, you know, the mind is very focused on the 3D because the mind can only exist within duality. What is duality? Duality is the manifested world, right? And, you know, I usually talk about this, like the, meeting your twin flame, it's really pointing you, even the labels, divine feminine, divine masculine are really pointing you in the direction of duality, right? Because a lot of things are divine masculine, divine feminine sounds a lot like the yin and the yang, the alpha, the omega, and it's all pointing you toward this deeper spiritual truth, which is duality. And it's pointing you at the fact that duality, the manifested world, is not ultimate reality. Okay? And so, and even your, and the mind only exists within duality. So it only perceives duality. So it can only see obstacles. But, or it, it can only see the 3D, 3D world. It can only see the manifested world. Right? The mind cannot understand the spiritual. So, when the mind looks at, you know, whatever it sees and it perceives it as an obstacle, you get to choose, you, the consciousness, you get to choose and discern, is that an obstacle or is that an opportunity? Okay. And that is the divine intelligence behind the mechanical mind. All right. Now, currently in your 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, divine feminine, we have the four of pentacles and judgment reversed. So you're really wanting to bring in some stability, some security, some abundance, and you probably are, you know, you probably are experiencing that. Like I, you know, maybe you got a promotion at work, you got a better job, you're opening a business, you got more cash flow coming in. But also remember abundance isn't just money. Abundance is is energetic. Abundance is, is emotional. It's, you have so much abundance right now. It's not just money. Currency is not just money. It's time. It's emotion. It's a lot of things. And you are uh, experiencing that stable abundance currently in your 3D life situation. And you are experiencing some pretty cool spiritual experiences, which everything really is a spiritual experience because you're the spirit having the experience, but you're having these, like what I've heard spiritual teachers refer to as like these mystical experiences. And, and that's really cool and all. And you're starting to see beyond the veil. Okay. You're seeing the unreality 
of manifested reality. You're seeing that duality is there and experiencing that there's something more going on here. It's that thing. You can't really put your finger on it, but you know it's there. All right. Now, currently toward your twin flame, we have strength reversed and the two of wands reversed. So towards your twin flame, you are kind of feeling weak, like, you know, but that's just the mind. You're feeling this inner, like this lack of inner strength, but that's just the mind. That's a pattern of mind. You know, that's not real. And it's very temporary. And, and here's the thing I want you to know, Divine Feminine. You can trust yourself, your true self, the soul, consciousness. You can trust that. You can trust your intuition. You do not have to listen to the self-defeating, self-destructive, and limiting patterns of mind. You don't have to, right? And with that two of wands coming up in reverse, you know, it's like you're unclear about what to do in this situation with your twin flame. But here's the thing, nothing. This isn't about doing. There's nothing to do. There's just being. Now, you know, there's a little bit of doing that needs done in order to experience the being. Like you have to sit down and meditate, right? That's the doing. But it's all about facilitating beingness. Okay. All right. Now we are going to do an Oracle card. And while I'm getting that ready, I want to invite you guys over to newworldallstar.com. Check out what we have to offer. If you're watching this video, you are definitely interested in our introduction to the journey online video course, which is over 20 hours of educational content to have you aligning with your higher self, aligning with your soul, experiencing your best, most amazing life. And a byproduct of that is that your twin flame just wants to be around you all the time. They are calling, texting, all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. And I've seen it so many times. It's wild. So definitely check that out. And um, guys, it's not expensive. It's like three or $400 for the for the course, depending on what package you get, definitely get the gold package. I highly, highly, highly recommend the gold package. It's really the best value because, um, once you, you all, excuse me, once again, if I could talk, <laughs> you get the videos and with the gold package, you get two months of the group coaching calls included in the package price. So you watch the videos and as soon as you're done, you can get into the group coaching calls. You can talk to Kurt. You can talk to me. You can talk to our other coach, CJ. Get into the closed secret Facebook group for paying students, which is so awesome, guys. And um, another thing is that if you can't afford the three or $400 up front, no problem. We have payment plans available. We take the full package price. We split it into six easy payments. You make your first payment. You get full access, right? We're not holding anything back. It's such a great deal. So go check it out on newworldallstar.com. Oh, and by the way, guys, the group coaching calls, the call times are staggered. So literally, no matter where you are in the world, there's a call you can get on. And if that still doesn't work for you, no problem. We record the calls so you can listen to them later on at your convenience. You got questions. We got answers. Okay. So go over to newworldallstar.com and come and work with us, guys. I would love to work with you and, you know, have you just living your best, most amazing life and your twin flame chasing you around. All right, guys, let's do this Oracle card. Oh, right here. Beautiful uncaging. All right, Divine Feminine, let's check that out. All right. Beautiful uncaging. At this time, you're being called to assess where guilt is playing a part in your life. Recognize how it's affecting you and others and address it so you can release yourself from its grip. Guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power. 
Self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth. Have you done or said something for which you need to make amends? Have you disregarded a boundary or broken a promise? Guilt can make you aware of potential ways you have given injury and show you how to redress the transgression. When you sincerely admit you are wrong and begin to process or begin the process to fix it, this is an act of accountability, responsibility, and liberation. Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed others or yourself. This knowledge will free you from the story you tell about it so you're able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self-inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. Guys, that is very true. That guilt can really just affect how we are treating ourselves and thereby how we're treating others. So I think that's a beautiful message for all of us. All right. Now, moving forward in the near future, Divine Feminine, for you, we have the King of Cups, right? So this journey of awakening really does, and the King of Cups is saying this, bring in a lot of emotional maturity and compassion. And just as you detach from the mind, you're able to look on it with so much compassion, all the patterns of mind and all the people in your life experience, you're able to view them with so much compassion because you're able to look in, look on your own mind, you know? And, and that's what really when Jesus was being crucified and he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. As people are unconscious, they literally know not what they do. The mind is inherently insane. And as we awaken to consciousness, we are able to look on our own mind, our actions that we've, you know, perpetrated or, or committed, whatever. And and look on the actions and the thoughts and experiences of others with so much compassion. So much compassion. All right. Now, in the near future, for you, Divine Feminine, in your 3D life situation, so-called karmic situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So, in the near future, you're definitely taking some time to reflect on your 3D life situation. And you are definitely seeing that there's something more going on here than just manif manifested reality. We've talked about that. You know that, okay? And you're reflecting, you're seeing, and you're okay with it. And you're experiencing the peace that you are, transcending the mind itself and just experiencing that peace, that oneness that you are with that 10 of pentacles. There's harmony, there's abundance. There is peace experienced as you awaken and as you ascend. And you are that peace. You are that. And as you experience the truth of your nature, that is your twin flame. You are your twin flame. That is you. You are them. You are union. Union is a state of consciousness. It comes from unity consciousness, right? Separation, a state of consciousness. The illusion is that you are separate from them. There is no them. There's only you. And as you experience that, then that is when the physical manifestation comes into your life experience. The paradox, right? All right. So now moving forward in the near future for you, divine feminine, towards your twin flame, we have the emperor and the six of swords. Okay. You are making some very wise decisions about this situation. You are seeing past the illusion of separation, right? You are. And you're with that six of swords, you're letting go of the story. You're moving on from the situation because you're seeing that there is, there is no situation. It is as it is, not as the mind says that it is. Guys, this has been an amazing reading. I love you guys so much. Please go over to newworldallstar.com and come and work with us. And please give us a like. Please hit subscribe. Please hit the bell notification button so that you are notified every time we post one of these amazing videos. I love you guys 
so very much. Go out there, make good decisions, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I love you guys so much. Bye.